Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Get Familiar With. Today I will show you the Autocon 3rd 400. Uh, this is the latest version of the electrical generator from CalStorts. You see here the machine together with the two different sets of pedals. The classic one uh, with the cut and coagulation. Cut is yellow, internationally yellow and blue its coagulation and the single one can uh, uh, be used only for um, the coagulation. So uh, these two pedals can be connected simultaneously on the rear part of the machine as I will show you later. And now I show to you the uh, rear side of the Autocon uh, 3 400. Uh, it's characterized by the uh, electrical plug here the main uh, switch for the electricity uh, because the frontal switch it's only a standby and the two connectors for the for the pedals remember we have the uh, um, cut and coagulation pedal the double one and the single one only for coagulation so we can um, have both of them connected to the machine in order to uh, be ut utilized at the same time in the lower part, we have a RS232. It's a serial connector used only for internal user. Um, the uh, uh, network plug over here and the USB. Laterally, the two SB connectors, but they are designed in a different way from the SB you uh, probably know very well from the EC pump. So this is the posterior rear panel uh, of the uh, Autocon 400. Let's start now to work with the Autocon 3rd. Uh, um, first of all, uh, we switch on the machine. This is only, remember, a standby uh, button. The main uh, electrical uh, uh, connectors on the rear side of the machine. It takes a few seconds. There is a nice music at the beginning, introducing the logo of the company and therefore the main uh, screen. You see, when everything is ready, we get the connectors activated. So you see, when uh, everything is ready, you get uh, all the uh, lights around the, the connectors here. And these connectors, these socket, are characterized by the fact that when we plug, you see, the light disappear and appears the menu. If you release, the menu remain here, except if you plug, if you push off and the menu disappear. So the machine is divided out of the screen into main part. This area is the area of the unipolar connectors and this area is the area for the bipolar connection. So you can connect simultaneously two unipolar devices and two bipolar devices. There are different cables, as I will show you later. Uh, some of them are simple cables uh, uh, released by each company producing instruments uh, to be connected to one of these uh, holes over here. Some others uh, are intelligent connector. It means they have uh, a chip inside and it looks quite different. Uh, so the machine recognizes immediately which instrument, uh, even if the instrument itself is not yet connected, which instrument can be used at that moment. Let's have a look now at the main screen that is a touch screen. On the upper part, uh, we uh, see, first of all, a star. The star, if you push star, we have the, pro the favorite uh, program uh, we can choose getting into the menu, as I will show you later. Then uh, we have uh, this symbol that indicates if the neutral plate is connected. This also will be shown later. The lock here, it's open, it means we can modify. If we push, it goes in lock mode and you have to release it. He, uh, high are information. We don't have information at the moment. Any log, any problem up, uh, happens to the machine would be reported here. And finally, the menu. So let's get in, into the menu. The first option are the programs. The programs uh, are the different options already memorized in the machine um, and we can choose to bring some of them into our favorite program list. 
It's just easy. You push the star with the green arrow and the option gets in. And then we go back to the list of the program and we scroll, we scroll up or down, you see, the uh, different option. And for example, we found some gynecological option, tubal sterilization, conization, etc. Uh, for example, conization. And we choose, oops, conization. And we choose to bring it into our favorite or to remove, you see? green to insert, uh, uh, red uh, to remove. Okay, once we have decided, then we confirm and we go back to the main uh, menu. You see, if this appears and you don't want to, sh to show on the screen, just click on off and it will disappear. Back to the menu, favorites. Favorites show to you the same that the star show you. So the your favorite programs. Okay, there are the standard and the, for example, gynecological conization. Back, system setting. System setting, how to start is nothing else than the automatic mode. When you use, for example, a, a coagulation instruments, as soon as you close the two parts of the instruments, the effect starts. Uh, this is, you can regulate with this option, you can uh, regulate the time between the activation of the uh, instrument and the real electrical effect uh, using this scroll bar or the plus and or minus uh, button. Language selection, obviously to choose your language, or our system selection in order to eventually connect the this machine to a so-called OR1 system or other system available in your operatory theater. The brightness of the display and finally to lock the system instead of having the system unlocked. Back to the main menu, we have the volume. With the volume, you regulate the uh, volume of the alarm, the key and the activation. So this can be regulated uh, as you prefer. Save program. Save program in order to save uh, with a different name some of your already existing option or a new option you create. Socket configuration. You have to take care of the socket configuration. Soft, uh, socket extension, uh, you just choose uh, which of the, of the connectors should be available, okay, depending by your cable. But the most complicated is the, to be uh, understood is the zap mode. The zap mode, it's real zapping mode between a socket. So here you decide which of this socket could be zapped in. For example, we choose the first in the uh, um, monopolar and the first in the bipolar. We confirm. Now, as you will see, as soon as we will connect the cable, you will be able to choose two different modality inside one socket. And finally, the last two options, you have the service where you have the possibility to get into the system of the device, but it's reserved to the uh, customer technician, and the system information that tell you which version of the system is available on the machine. And, for, and these are all the menu options. Back you are in the main screen. We are now ready for the uh, connection of all the electrical cables. First of all, we have to connect uh, for the use of the uh, monopolar energy, the so-called neutral plate, that is the return electrode that goes into this uh, dedicated plug. Okay, and you see that the uh, symbol of the uh, neutral plate gets red. And then we have uh, different cables we have a general 
speaking uh, bipolar cable. This is a dedicated uh, bipolar cable. You see it's a totally different connectors. This is the connector on the machine, this is on the instrument. Here we have uh, this kind of body that contains a, a chip. Because if we plug this one, the machine recognizes reading the chip inside which instrument will be connected. It's a special mode dedicated in this specific case to um, uh, resection. In fact, uh, you see, the machine tell you which instrument has been connected. You give the approval and you go directly in the specific mode. Then we have the global talking um, bipolar cable that is inserted in the dedicate switch here. Okay. And finally, the monopolar cable that we insert, for example, here. As you see, as soon as we insert the cable, it appears the menu on the screen and the lights around the socket uh, gets off. Okay? Now we are ready for the setup. So while the first one, it's uh, intelligent cable, it goes immediately in, the, in its menu. Okay, here you see very well. And uh, then you have the choice of the pedal you can use. And here we are. If, we, if I click on the pedal logo and I activate I have three options. The one with the orange bottom, the one without the orange bottom, white bottom, and the zap mode. So I have to decide. If I decide, for example, zap mode, I'll show to you how the zap mode works. This is the standard setup for these instruments. I can even choose, for example, to reduce the intensity of the effect instead of one, to, uh, instead of two, sorry, to one uh, for, the, for the cut. And for the calculation, maybe to two. So instead of the previous one, I have one and two. It means that as soon as I push the bottom on the pedal, I switch between the standard mode two, three, or back to my mode one, two. So I can choose within one, it can be done also by people in the OR clicking on this icon. You see, it becomes white when it's the standard one and becomes black when it's my option. So I can switch within this option. Let's go now to the bipolar mode here. So I choose, for example, one mode, the bipolar scissors confirmation and classic bipolar coagulation. I connect them to the pedal with the highlighted button, okay? You see, I can choose between the double pedal and the single pedal, but we are using, oops, it wasn't here, okay. So now I have the bipolar mode ready, working on the two pedal mode. Let's go to the monopolar one. So it's already, there are already two options. Let's say that these two options are good for me. Now I have to, I have to choose which activation I need. Having already choose the highlighted bottom for the bipolar, I will choose the not highlighted one for the bipolar, for the uh, monopolar, for both cut and coagulation. Now I have highlighted, not highlighted. Highlighted means if I'm pushing the pedal, it's a bipolar mode, okay? I want to use now the unipolar, I push on the bottom on the, on the pedal, and you see now it's highlighted the unipolar and not the bipolar. I will not push the pedal because if I push the pedal being not 
the neutral plate connected to the body of the patient, it will get an error. I show to you. Okay, non-neutral electrode connected. Okay, so just using this black button on the top, uh, I can switch between unipolar mm -hmm. and bipolar and back. While if I had activated, here has been activated on this socket and on this socket, the zap mode. But for example, let's try, I go back to the menu, I go back to the configuration, zap mode, and I'm activating even for this socket, the zap mode. Let's say for all the socket, the zap mode, here you see it will appear the icon. So depends which pedal I'm assigning to this specific mode, uh, I will have the option to use the central black button to switch with, between unipolar and bipolar, or to switch within bipolar or within monopolar for the two options I choose. That it's not only like here the intensity, let's try in this side here for the uh, bipolar. I assign the pedal, you see it appears now, I assign the pedal zap mode, it goes automatically also on the other one and I choose a totally different instrument, for example this one, okay? If I choose this instrument there will be no choice for having another, uh, for having a coagulation here, you see? Or one or the other one. So let's choose this one, okay? And now with the central button I will switch between the two instrumentation, you see? Okay, because I have assigned to this socket a different pedal. If I want to go back between the switch bipolar unipolar, I have only to uh, choose my mode, that original was this one, and assign to a different pedal, to this one, and reassign to the unipolar the not highlighted one. Okay, and now I can switch between bipolar and unipolar and back to bipolar. It takes a while to be understood, but it's, a, it's an excellent way of working. So you can choose, depending by the surgery you perform, the instrument you use, if you want to have two different effects within one instrument, or to switch between two groups of instruments. And here, hence, today, our Get Familiar with the Autocon uh, uh, third 400. I hope you enjoy the video tutorial and I invite you to watch the next uh, videos. Thank you very much. <laughs>